Hey guys, Strutter here. It's the 20th of October today. I just found this article. Actually, it's uh, over a week old now, but I hadn't seen it yet. And it just pisses me right off, so I had to make a video about it. Um, I'll read the first line here. The Supreme Court of Canada ruled Friday that a person questioned by police in connection with a criminal case does not have the right to have a lawyer present. I thought that was a typo, but I checked it out and it's not. We don't have the right to have a lawyer present when we're questioned by police anymore in this country. I don't, I don't really know what to say. This, I just can't wrap my head around this. It, am I reading that right? Can someone have, please have a look and tell me, am I reading that right? Do I not have the right to have a lawyer present when I'm questioned by police anymore? If so, what kind of country is this now? What kind of country is it where we have a, a police state, as evidenced by the G20? What, we don't have the right to a lawyer when questioned by police now. There's, there's no way this can, this can be right in, in Canada. This, this is the kind of thing that you would expect in, I don't know, North Korea maybe. They, they probably have the right to a lawyer in North Korea. I mean, come on, this is absolutely ridiculous. Remember this story from during the G20? This girl is uh, at the protest and she was blowing bubbles. These police have confronted her. And this guy called A. Josephs um, decides to be a super tough guy. Threatens to arrest her for blowing bubbles. She says she understands. She's not blowing any more bubbles. He's getting right. angrier. Right, thank you. But I would also like to know. You want to bait the police. So you that on. You're that other officer. He gets in her eyes. It's a detergent. So he's going into custody. So he says it's going to be assault because it's a weapon. It's a detergent. Right. Of course. Bubbles. Soap bubble. I just did. Now watch her swallow. There. The reason I bring this up is... Sorry, I'm just finishing watching it here. <laughs> Anyways, what ended up happening is they took her to jail anyhow. And, uh, like a lot of people that hadn't done anything wrong. Um, now there's some cartoons and parody videos of this made. And he was nicknamed Officer Bubbles. And now what this guy's doing is suing 25 people from YouTube, including some people that you know, for making comments or videos about him and in, you know, what he believes to be a derogatory manner. Um... You know what? He deserves all the criticism that he can get. Why are you in a high-profile job like policing if you don't want people to be able to scrutinize your actions, post on YouTube about it? We pay you a lot of money, buddy. We pay you a lot of money to serve us and to protect us. I don't think that that girl feels very served or protected by your actions that day. She was scared of you. And that was quite obvious from the video, and she complied with putting away the bubbles, which she probably didn't even have to, because she was not assaulting you. You make me sick, A. Josephs, and you can go ahead and sue me if that offends you. I'm not afraid of you or any other tough guy in a, in a uniform, or with a lawsuit and money behind you, coming after me, because I haven't done anything wrong in criticizing you. You're a disgrace to the Toronto Police Department. And anyone that's supporting you is a disgrace to this country as well. That girl had every right to be blowing bubbles at that protest. You had no right to stop her from doing that or for treating her the way that you treated her or taking her to jail right after this clip was taken. And you certainly have no right to be suing the very people you are here to serve and protect for criticizing you for doing a shitty job.